Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ray Song. Uh, we are going to do another quest in um, uh, in our uh, Sims Medieval. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to do the missing child one because that's the other one with the explanation point. Um, so we're going to find the missing child any way we can. We can do it through the Watcher, through either the Jacobian Priest or the Peterim Priest. We can do it with Henry, uh, or we can do it with uh, the Knight. Um, I'm, I think I'm just gonna do it through with Henry. Um, yeah, I think we'll just stick with Henry for now. So Tudorville was abuzz with the news of a child gone missing. Uh, recovering the child safely would be an incredible boon to Kingdom Morale. You know what, Let, let's do it through the J Jacobian Priest because we haven't played any of those yet. The townsfolk seem scared. Normally I would assume that the Watcher's Fury had finally gotten to them, but not today. Something is different. I should see if my attendant knows anything more. Mm. Just need to find my attendant. There's no more over here. There's my attendant. Alas, a child has gone missing. A child of one of the wealthier townsfolk, my attendant believes. Perhaps if, perhaps if a servant of the Watcher helps to find the missing child, the parents of the child would be compelled to join the church. Alright, so how should the quest party proceed? We can investigate child's economic status or give a sermon that will scare the town folks into finding the child um i mean i guess we'll just give a sermon if it's truly the watcher's bidding for me to find this poor lost wealthy child then it shall be appropriate then it shall appropriately be through the watcher's wrath a little fiery sermon should scare the townsfolk into tracking down his this lost child um so we are going to give a sermon and it's going to be intense Good sermon always gets the blood pumping. Now to go about my business until I hear news of the child. I'm so sorry for all the yawning. All right. Um, I have to do give the watcher's blessing. Which I think I have to do over here.
Rinnell, Yalvo Yena. How does one get the watcher's gate? Well, I guess we could post a proclamation. Uh, curious about the watcher? Don't just dip a toe in. Go full on Jacobian. A message from the Church of Jacob. Due to recent spat of bear attacks on our congregation, we will be opening up a Jacobian healing center in town in the near future. Please visit us for any of your spiritual healing needs. Let's do proclamation number two. Oh, fear of the Jacobian order has decreased slightly. The people are unfearful of the church and have been slacking at attendance. So I guess we have the details now. Just received news that the child is spotted near the square. You should go meet him quickly. I had left the town because the people had become so complacent with their lives. The ones that found me looked like they had renewed motive to live, almost like deer. Oh, cool. That was really quick. So I guess we will do another one. Um, well, we have 40 now, which means we can... Just give her like a bit of a smaller nose.
There we go. Hmm. Let's make her dedicated. And let's make her solidarity. Um, Let's just make her a drunkard. Well, apparently I didn't. There we go. Perfect. So now we have a blacksmith. So let's see what other quests we have. Famine fever. A recent crop shortage brought the peasants to the brink of starvation. An angry band of them descended upon Tudorville throne room where they were staging a protest. They demanded food. Would someone come forward who could feed the peasants, or would their uprising be quelled? Make books, not war. The Peterin was beginning to tire of hearing news of war. Tudorville was involved in numerous, in a number of bloody conflicts in the nearby territories, but it didn't seem like enough was being done to develop the minds of its citizens. Let's do Famine Fever. Um, so we only have the option for Martial Law because we don't have anything else. Um, so the peasants must not be allowed to take their frustrations out on their betters. Uh, Various fist will put them in their place. You know what? I kind of feel like I want to go the feed them route with that, so I'm going to wait to do that one. What's this one? People are born with both light and dark sides. Some cannot overcome their brazer nature. Others dare not try. But heroes are defined by overcoming adversity. A difficult path, but the rewards are great indeed. Who shall discard the imperfect trappings of everyday life and, and seek to become a legend? A legendary trait is available in this quest. Um, so the primary hero is anyone with a fatal flaw, except guild enemy and the supporting role is the monarch cool so um it is tough enough being superior to everyone but i manage we can do the jacobian priest sure a magic fountain is interesting but so is pulling my finger which is the uh, knight i'll tell you when i've had enough which is 
or a blacksmith, and I need something to quench my burning loins. Uh, the Peter and Priest. That one kind of caught my eye. Um, so let's try that one. Virtue is a noble goal that I can get behind. All right. Subtle at first, a fire began to spread from somewhere deep inside Brother Chet. Thoughts of the day's task were quickly, quickly replaced by irresistible images of smooth bare skin and the sensation of phantom crescents. That was until a brilliant vision appeared of an ancient fountain sparkling in a forgotten glade, momentarily washing away any desires to stock his bed with a nice warm body. All right, so we have to find someone to kiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, pause. You know what? I have to give a basic sermon and I have to evangelize for two hours. So I think I'll just give my basic sermon, which I cannot do. our sermon at 6 p.m. In the meantime, I still have to... Oh, there's someone. There we go, now we can kiss her. Or, well, we can try. Stop moving. Alright. Let's try her. Yaga 
Turning him down. I guess we'll do it at 11. I'm already making food. Shot down by three women. This poor guy. Oh, I should do my sermon. Give sermon. Alright. Brother Chet's sermon was well received by the congregation and the church received $51 in donations. Alright. I think we're just going to have to have him go to bed.
choosing to start all over again on a fourth woman because nobody wants to kiss him. did a little more this time. Ah, he finally got someone to kiss him. The vision of the fountain returned unbidding to Brother Chet, accompanied now by his soothing eternal voice. Poor broken soul, your torture has been endured too long. If your desire to be cleansed is true, and your heart is equal to the task, come seek me out, for I will remake you. I have such power. You can be better, purer, stronger. The prophecy quickly fa faded as quickly as it came, leaving Brother Chet wondering what it meant. So now we have to talk to Lord Henry and ask a townsperson about the fountain. So... Let's ask them about the fountain. And then we'll discuss the vision with Henry. Hail, Brother Chet. A strange voice in an image of a fountain. It sounds as if you've uh -huh. been selected for the pers for a personal quest. I don't know how I can help, and truthfully, am much too busy to go chasing uh, dreams. Uh, I've always found benefit from delving into the past, so my advice is to learn more through study. Luck be with you. This is quite a story, brother, brother Chet, but I am sorry. I try not to meddle in portions and visions. However, that bit about the fountain, I've recently heard a fable going around town of a sparkling fountain granting wishes, granting the wishes of a lost farmer, or was it a wandering monk and a pond of everlasting youth? Maybe you should locate one of them. Okay, so wh who will Brother Chet seek out to learn more about the fountain? Uh, the fabled peasant or the virtuous monk? Let's try the virtuous monk. Uh, we have to browse a bookshelf and we have to kiss someone again. So I guess we'll go home. We also need to pay taxes and write with the watcher. Lots of stuff to do. Oh, and he's hungry, so let's make some food. Okay, let's write with the watcher. I don't have a bookshelf. Let's go pay our taxes. And we're going to have to buy a bookshelf. the bookshelf I said I think it said yeah, find and read a book of fables at the village shop locate the virtuous monk and find someone to kiss 
This is the Virtuous Monk. Brother Chet arrived on the hill that housed the gruesome implements of the kingdom's justice, he noticed several unfamiliar figures miserably imprisoned in the stock. Upon closer inspection, Brother Chet recognized the figure from the peasant's earlier description. A sudden flare of pain reminded him that their continued well-being was his only chance to figure out the vision. All right, so we have to ask Lord Henry to release the monk need to kiss someone again and we have to go to the village shops um the village shops are down here so we'll just go there i feel like fo fabulously foolish fables might be what we're looking for Inventory read. Fable, while an entertaining read, did not provide much in the way of details on how to locate the fountain itself. A large portion of the story seems to be missing, and the remaining tale appeared authored in several different voices. Right, and now we have to ask Lord Henry to request release from the stocks. I cannot just let Blessed Paul the monk run free despite your standing in Tudorville, Brother Chet. He violated our laws and justice must be served, otherwise the kingdom will descend to lawlessness. However, if someone would be willing to take his place in the stocks or cover the fine, only then can I authorize his proper release. So we are going to just pay the fine. Do I need to go to pay the fine? Oh, pay prisoner's fine. There we go. All right. And with the fines paid, it should be able to pick up an official pardon from Royal Advisor Marcelli. Request release from the stocks. It seems the bail has been paid in full, though why you would spend it on freeing some errant wanderer, I have not the slightest. I have not the slightest. Regardless of your motives, you have earned this royal pardon. Simply present it to Ethington the Executioner. A 
official orders to release a prisoner, huh? Well, who am I to argue with Lord Henry the Great? I will take that pardon off your hands, and the constable will be along shortly to open the stocks. So, in the meantime, we have to get answers. Oh, we still have to find someone to kiss again. So let's just go back. Why can't I kiss her? Oh, okay. Um, where am I? There we go. Thank you for all you have done, Brother Chet. As I was entering Tudorville, a shadowy figure held me up, though I did not possess any coin. When the constable came, the thief claimed I was the culprit and disappeared into the crowd. Next thing I knew, I was being marched to the stocks. As a reward for your service, I would like to give you an old map that has served me well. However, the bandit made off toward the graveyard with it. If you could retrieve it, you, it might just provide you the answers you seek. So let's go confront the thief. What business of it is, is it of yours, Brother Chet? Perhaps I lightened that arrogant foreigner's pouch a bit, and perhaps I did not. Either way, I certainly have no intention of handing anything over to you, just because you asked. Certainly not for free. Alright, so we can use force to take the map, or we can use coin to buy the map. Let's use force. And I guess we're going to brawl with him. Some priest, man, let me tell you. You treacherous brute, you may have won this round, but a lot of good that will do. The only item I got was some incomprehensible map. And now it is yours. Enjoy your ill-gotten gains, Brother Chet. Okay. Let's begin to search the forest for the fountain. Search for fountain. Thick forest canopy blocked Brother Chet's view of the sun, leaving him aimlessly in the endless gloom. Finding the tallest tree, Brother, Brother Chet slowly climbed its gnarled branches to perch in the sunlight above a sea of greenery. Sounds of a small stream echoed a short way to the west, while the north of thick woods thinned into the foothills of the majestic mountains. Let's follow the stream. Brother Chet wanted to see if the source of the stream see the source of the stream he turned towards the sound of running water uh, the forest gloom gave way to a bright clearing ringed by ancient trees in the center of the glade amid a soft amid soft grass and wildflowers stood an ancient fountain bubbling with sparkling clear water as brother chet gazed in awe a familiar ethereal voice echoed through the meadow you have passed this first trial in finding me brother chet however this is something anyone with enough determination or a map can accomplish before you can be remade your devotion and need must be tested take a small portion of my essence with you add it to the water of tudorville and listen for your next trial all right We need to go to the town square. Oh. 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 
and uh-huh. infused with legendary fountain water. Let's go kiss her then. The fountain's essence is infused into Tudorville's water. Now how do I commune with it for my next trial from here? Uh, commune with the fountain. Faint at first, the ethereal voice, the ethereal voice of the fountain resonated deep from within the now sparkling well to provide Brother Chet's next trial, that of devotion. Your determination has been proven, Brother Chet. Now your commitment to change must be weighed. Sacrifice that which you hold most dear as an offering to this well and you shall be closer still to perfection. So we have to woohoo with someone to collect some unmentionables. Yep, I'm just gonna go woohoo in the king's bed. Uh, that was exactly what I needed. Now to collect a souvenir of my conquest to send down the well. In the meantime, let's make some food. Salmon soup. And let's just sleep in Henry's bed for a little while. And we have to pray for two hours and bestow the Watcher's favor on another. So, back to the well. Brother Chet dropped the offering into the well. A sudden flash of golden light momentarily lit the dark, watery depths. Your offering is acceptable. Your next trial is one of need. Return to me with proof that you were indeed a flawed creation, and you shall be one step closer to perfection. Get into a dry spell before returning to the fountain. All right. So I think I'm just going to leave this one here because this is a really long episode now. Um, so we will continue this uh, next time. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I post my videos every single day. So watch out for tomorrow's video. Have a great day. TGFN.